sunshine. Back in Kentucky, Tickle's heading into the woods to school his new partners in the secrets of Tim Smith's shine. Looks like a good a spot as any to mash into me. Oh, nobody sees us down here. That's right, that's well, the main thing. thing. Well, I'm coming out here today to meet Chico and Tyler. I'm gonna teach them Tim's recipe and how to run it like Tim would run it. All right, so we got cracked corn, we got barley, and we got rye. We're gonna go about 80% on the corn and about 10% um, on everything else. Right now, I'm having a hard time getting enough liquor, and these guys helping me out, if I train them the way that Tim showed me, that right there is going to guarantee you the same consistency of liquor, and that's what I'm looking for. This mixture right here, this is pretty much Tim's recipe there. It's all up to us on making it and making it right. Well, I've heard a lot of good stuff about Tim's moonshine. If we can get close to making it, it'll be damn good. Yeah, this right here is going to be the closest thing you'll ever, you'll ever get to his. You need to get a little bit more of that in that hole. Of course it looks easy when I'm over here pouring and y'all standing there feeding. So that rye, it's actually in there just for flavor. It won't ferment. It don't make any enzymes or anything in there to actually make any alcohol. It gives it a spice to it. Yeah. You want it spicier, you add more rye. You want it a little less spicy, less rye. This is what Tim uses in his. People like it. They're already used to it, so they'll buy it. I think this is going to be a, a, a good partnership right here. We're going to get a lot of good liquor out of it. And not only that, it's going to taste like Tim's liquor. There we go. We're starting to look good. We're definitely starting to look like mash. All right, fellas, that's real important to have that warm water in there. That way, it melts that sugar. We're just doing this with cold water. It ain't gonna melt that sugar, and this ain't gonna work. You ain't gonna make no alcohol. It's like farting in the wind, ain't it? It, it is. You might as well be cooking oatmeal in that damn pot if you don't get this sugar to melt. So I guess it's about time for some yeast. You do the honors. No, you're, you're good. Mm -hmm. She'll start working here in no time. Taste that and see what you think, brother. She tastes good. I believe that'll make liquor there. That's gonna make Tim Smith's liquor what it's gonna make. About the only thing you do is kind of camouflage this thing a little bit, keep anybody from seeing it, and we roll on with it. 